Hi everyone, it's Techie Tuesday, and Techie Tuesday is where I try to explain something technical to you that will enhance your YouTube experience or enhance your YouTube channel, and I try to use non-technical terms for us non-technical people. <laughs> so for today, I'm going to show you how I edit a movie or a video clip in a program called Movie Maker. And that's the program that I use. And I'm not going to get too detailed, but I'm going to get detailed enough where you should be able to uh, edit a movie. You should be able to add clips, remove clips, and fast forward clips. There's a ton more you can do with this program, but you'll just have to play around with it after I teach you these basics. And then you'll uh, be able to edit uh, videos like a pro. And I record exclusively on my cell phone. So I have recorded a little clip and I've put it on my desktop. I've downloaded it to my desktop or uploaded it, I should say, to my desktop. And then I'm going to find a movie maker on my computer. And this is a free download and I will link it down below. And uh, this is the movie maker screen. So I want to find that clip that I put on my desktop and put it in Movie Maker. So I'm going to click this Add Videos and Photos button. So I left click on that. And then this is everything that's in my desktop. So I'm going to find that video clip and it's right here. So I'm going to left click on that and then I'm going to click Open. And now this is in my... Uh, Movie Maker. It does have to download, so it's going to take a little bit to uh, download it into Movie Maker. Okay, it's uh, it's all downloaded in the audio, you know, download it because I was speaking during the video I was making. So I'm going to play a little bit of it on, uh, just so you can hear it a little bit. The cardstock that you can okay. use or should use with alcohol markers that makes a difference okay and let's say I didn't want that part in there let's say I wanted to cut that whole part out so I'm gonna find the spot where I wanted it to cut out I'm gonna listen should to use it with alcohol markers then and then I clicked pause where I wanted it to stop and so then I'm going to go to this edit tab up here and I'm gonna click edit and then I'm gonna click split and then I'm going to go as far as I want and let's say I know where I want it to stop or I can push play is um, I can listen the to Nina it. classic crap and, the, and then I can determine and I hit pause where I want it to stop so I want it to stop there so I'm going to click split and that creates a whole little frame here and if I want to remove that I put my arrow on it and I right click and then I can click the remove button okay and it took that part completely out and so that's how I can edit out, edit out something bad you know maybe I swore or something or you know or maybe my dogs are barking <clears throat> or something like that Let's say I want to fast forward a clip. So I'm going to find where I want to start fast forwarding. And I'm doing this, I, I'm left clicking on that bar and I'm just dragging it to where I want it to start. And I, let's say I want to start where it's coloring. So let me find where I start coloring. Okay, I start coloring here. So I let go of the button so that bar is right where I want it. And then I'm going to click split. And then I'm going to, um, again, grab that bar with my mouse. And I'm going to go through all of this coloring. I'm just, I'm using my mouse to drag that bar so I know where to stop. And I'm going, 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 because I want to fast forward all the coloring. I should, yeah, it's called fast forward. 
because uh, I want to I don't want people to have to watch an hour-long video okay let's say I want to stop right there I'm gonna go up here at the top and I'm gonna click split now this whole section that I had first done my first split up here and my last split I want to fast forward okay. so I'm gonna put my mouse anywhere in this area where I had done the split okay okay and so this is I, I just clicked on it so I, I know where I'm going to do the fast forward and then I so I'm gonna go up here where it says speed and I'm going to click that little arrow and I can make it go as slow or as fast as I want and I have found out that 16 times is a good speed for coloring so I'm going to click on 16 and it just made this all um, fast forward so let's see here see how it's fast forwarding all the, all the coloring I did And then but it's fast forwarding. Okay, now I'm going to go down. Now that I know that's good, I'm going to go to where <clears throat> the beginning is where it's not fast forwarded. And let's say this is all fine. I don't need to do anything up here, but maybe down here I need to remove another clip. Again, I put that bar, I drag that, drag that bar to where I want. And I go up to split and it's going to split it and then I want to fast forward it this I'm just uh, dragging that bar and I'm going to hit split again and let's say I want to remove that I right click on it and then the box comes up and I click remove and that has removed it now let's say I want to add something right here. Um, I want to add my logo. So I click the home button and then I click add videos and photos and I want to pick, I want to put my logo there for some reason. I click on my logo. I click open and that's going to put it down here at the bottom but I can drag that and I can put it where I had split that okay now let's say uh, when you watch this this logo is gonna um, play too long it's like uh, 30 seconds and you want it to be three seconds I click on it so that little bar you know the slider bar is right before it okay I click on it and then I can go to edit and see this word duration I'm gonna make that three seconds long and that will make that clip three seconds long okay now I'm all done let's say I'm all done with my video what do I want to do I want to click home and then I want to click save movie but it's important here it says like for computer YouTube or for email do not click on the YouTube one you're gonna save it to your computer and save it I clicked on that left clicked on it now for me this is an important part I need to name it something that I remember <laughs> so I am going to uh, rename that what I did oh, I'll show you what I did whoops I, I just uh, I don't want to call it my movie so I'm going to highlight that part by left clicking and dragging and now I am going to name it um, how to edit just because that's what I wanted to name it <laughs> and so I'm gonna click save and that is going to save that to um, my files and I'll save it to my video files and so that is how you edit a movie or a video clip in Movie Maker so that's just a general way to do it there are other things you can do but 
this is just a quick you know tutorial on how I do that you can add all sorts of you know visual effects oh, I can't click on it right now but that's you can learn that on your own just by clicking on the tabs and playing with it the important thing to know here is that split button that split button lets you do almost anything you want because um, you got to split your clips to remove them you've got to uh, split it if you want to add something so that's you know a, a good thing to to know and as always I will have links down below and if you haven't already subscribed please hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching bye